Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is Game Straight One. Um, I'm standing here. I just got my, my recent pick up here last weekend. This is uh, the Neo Geo MVS cabinets. Uh, there aren't many reviews on this cabinets on YouTube, so I figured I would uh, post a video review over it. I'm very excited uh, finding one of these. It took me a long time to find one. It took me uh, just to figure out logistically how to ship it to 400 pounds. So it's, as you can imagine, it's not very cheap to ship. I went on Craigslist and I found a guy right down the street, literally who lives right down the street from me gave me a great smoking deal on it. He was moving and was desperate to get rid of it. I picked it up for a phenomenal deal. I got eight games for it as well, which is great. One of the games I'm actually shipping to a really good friend of mine on YouTube. He's going through some hard times um, with his family issues. Um, I'm not gonna name his name. I'm sure you, a lot of you guys know who he is. He's got a lot of subscribers, big, on, popular guy on YouTube. Um, and you know, I just, just wanna wish him the best of luck. I hope, I'm gonna send him one of my games and I hope that it just makes his day and help, helps get his mind off uh, what he's going through right now. So that's my goal. So it's underway. So I only have seven games for it now, but I plan on getting many more. I did a review on the, the Neo Geo AES system, which is the advanced entertainment system uh, earlier, and uh, which is more or less the same as, as the system right here. And I did a Neo Geo Pocket review. I have a Neo Geo CDZ uh, system as well, which is the CD based system, which is a lot faster than the CD, uh, original uh, CD system. Um, so my Neo Geo family of, of systems is now complete, which I'm really excited about. Um, now the games here are interesting. Um, this is the MBS game, which stands for Multi Video System, okay? And this is an AES game. So as you can see, um, the AES game, AES game, they're about roughly the same size, okay? And uh, this is the AES game. This is a home castle version, and it's a lot more pleasing to the eye. It's got the sticker. Uh, this has got pretty much plain. You got the title here. This is uh, World Heroes, and this is Soccer Brawl, which is a pretty fun game. Um, now, also what's different is the boards are, are, are a lot different. Um, if you can see this bottom here is the MBS, this is the AES, so this is the cabinet version down here. And the reason they made it different, it's interesting, um, when it first came out, it came out in 1990, um, the games for the arcade for the MBS were much, very, very expensive, you know, talking thousands of dollars. And here these games were still expensive, ten dollars because compared to most uh, video games, games back in the day, back in the 90s, but uh, much cheaper. So what SNK did, rather to avoid owners of the MVS to purchase um, these cheaper games, they made them different. So think of it as like a, a region lockout, almost like a Nintendo game and a Famicom game. Same game, just different boards. Um, now there are, I think, believe there are converters you can actually purchase for um, for this to convert uh, the MVS games to the AES games. Uh, another interesting thing is also on the MVS games, if you can look, there's screws, right? So you can actually open this up and, and, and tweak with it and adjust it and whatnot. You can't do that with the home uh, version. Um, now this system was actually the longest supported, second longest supported uh, system in, in video game history. What I mean by that is SNK made games for the system up until 2004. So it came out in 1990, it was discontinued in, in 2004. So that's 14 years, it's a long time for a system to be supported. Not even the Nintendo was supported that long, or the PlayStation 1. Um, you've also got, um, you know, the only other arcade, um, or the only other video system that was supported longer, I'll give you a hint. Uh, it's, it's the Atari's first system, well one of their first systems, it's a 2600, so. Uh, but let's go take a look, closer look at the system and, and check it out, and uh, here we go. So here it is, so I've got the, the garage door open uh, open for uh, lighting purposes. I close it and it's really, really dark to see. So um, now this is the speakers right up here and you got your different card slots. Now each game came with a card and you can, you can customize this accordingly. Now these do light up, okay? Um, now the monitor is a lot different, I find that the quality on this is a much better uh, than actually um, the home when you play it on the home TV monitor is much clearer the stereo is much much crisper too as well uh, maybe it's just because it's like right there above you um, you got your uh, your controls here um, this is the left counter so this is how many credits you have as far as your first player left player this is how many credits you have as far as uh, your second player uh, you can select game right here I'll show you that in a minute uh, same A B C D buttons okay as uh, the controller controller for the AES system. Um, and you come down here. Now down here is uh, you get a headphone jack, which is interesting. I'm not sure why you'd need a headphone jack um, in an arcade. Uh, it's kind of interesting. Uh, you get this memory card, which I kind of touched base earlier on my AES version. Uh, this memory card, say you're playing a game and you had a memory card and you were in a hurry, you had to go somewhere. You plug this bad boy in here and you can save your game and then plug it into any other arcade cabinet 
uh, with that game and you can continue playing from where you left off. Um, this is also compatible with the one, there's an arcade or there's a memory card slot in the AES version. So if you have the home version of Samurai uh, Showdown and you have a certain character you like to use or whatever, you want to save something, you can just bring it to an arcade cab and plug that memory card in and continue there. So that's cool. Um, you've got your uh, coin cabinet here. Now these buttons right here are for free play, so when I push this, it automatically plays. Okay, so that's cool. So it's already, I can use quarters if I want as well, but uh, I just like to push it for free play. This cabinet opens over here, and this is where the coins would drop. Okay, and then I got a bunch of buttons and extra tools if I want to fix it. So everything's been refurbished and replaced. The guy who owned this uh, had owned it for several years and, and took really good care of it. Okay, let's check out the side here. You got your uh, Neo Geo NVS logo here, multi video system. Now, um, they're pretty ingenious, SNK, because they produce these games, uh, and you could, as an owner, you could purchase these. And instead of rather, rather than purchasing an old arcade, complete arcade by itself, you actually purchase a game which is uh, much more easy to ship and, and, and probably cheaper as well. So it was all customizable, okay, which is pretty ingenious. And of course, you've got uh, the side here as well. Um, now, when you open up, when I open up this, I don't know how well you can see it. Um, you get this counter right here, okay? And that tells you how many times you've played. So whether you click on free play or you put a quarter in, that's how many times you've actually played uh, this game. So right now it's saying I, uh, let's see if it's not going to focus very well. Sorry, it's kind of dark. It's 89,616 times this, this one's been played. Uh, that's about 89,000 times more than my uh, 360s lasted. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's in pretty good shape. Uh, I like 360, and I'm not going to bash on it. I like 360. Um, so here's the service credits. You got your test mode. You can uh, click this, and then we'll get to a screen. You can actually touch your buttons. And this is your on-off switch right here, if you can see that. Okay. And this is where the coins drop down. Okay. Now, if you're curious on how to change the games out, there's actually hooks underneath. I've already unlatched them to save time. But this thing actually, let's see, we can open this. This opens up. Okay. And uh, you see these latches here? That actually latches on onto these right here, okay? And then this is the card slot right here. This is where the car uh, carts go into. And and uh, each cart, let me plug one. So the arrow, that's the arrow you want it toward, uh, it towards you. So we got four games in there right now, okay? And uh, you, know, you can toy, you know, if you want to switch out games, it's pretty easy. Obviously, you just keep it off. Um, but this is a four switch board. There's uh, one, two, four, and six, as I'd mentioned uh, earlier. And uh, let's go about okay, so this bad boy for lighting purposes because the reflection is getting too much. Let's put this bad boy, let's turn it on. So we're going to go down here, and there's a switch. You probably can't see much. The coins light up really nicely. You have keys, you can actually lock it, uh, which is cool. Um, there's an anti drug warning on here too, which is cool, like the old classic 90 arcades you should have. There it is. Winners don't use drugs. Always great to know. Anyway, um, this is kind of a anime violence warning. Now let's go to a demo screen. So let's let's click go down here real quick, and then click this three times. So you can hear it. Click okay, and that's just I put in three credits, and as you can see, I have three credits here, and then uh, you can select. You got thirty seconds to select what game you want. So you got Samurai Showdown. You got Blazing Star, which is a R-type game, side scroller shooting, which is actually a really hard game to find for the system. King of Fighters 2000 and Rural Heroes 2. Let's do Blazing Star. Click on it. Now, the interesting thing about these games, another advantage of having MVS over AES, is the games nowadays are much cheaper. Uh, I think the main reason why that is is because the AES games, uh, there's more people who own the AES, AES system than they do the MVS arcade. So there's more demand for it. And then there's a lot more appealing to the eye because of the stickers and stuff too. But I'll give you an example. If you find Metal Slug 1 for the MBS, the arcade cabinet, it will sell for usually 70 to 80 bucks. Not bad. If you sell, find it for the AES, the home version, I've seen it sell for over $1,000, about $1,000 or so, which is a huge difference. Um, this is a cool game. And then you've got uh, this thing lights up to you showing which game you're playing, which is cool. I've got to replace the bulb here, but I've got keys. And you just unscrew it and you open it up and there's uh, fluorescent light down oh, behind it. So you can just replace that pretty easily. Now I'm not too worried about it. So uh, yeah, that's the review over this arcade. This is the third arcade that I own. I have uh, Arcade Legends 2. 
and I have, which is 100 games in one, and I have a cocktail arcade which has about 39 games in one. So with this addition, uh, it's a nice addition to my game room. So um, I just have to find a way to get this get this up there. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy gaming. Take care.